Aries, Scorpio. It's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How's everybody doing? Everybody all being at home? <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing, right? That's the thing. It's a thing now. So that's what we're doing. We're all being at home. So this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you identify as a Scorpio in any way whatsoever, this reading may resonate with you. <laughs> um, you have to be careful though. Because although you may see yourself in this reading and uh, you may see a thread going through here that reminds you of your life, um, it is astrologically impossible for this to be your personal reading. So everybody has a different chart, right? My chart's different than your chart. Somebody could be born on my birthday and we could still have a completely different chart. Everybody's astrological chart is their own special chart. These tarot cards are rooted, they're created from astrology so the tarot cards reflect what's going on in the planet but just like your charts your own chart and it's not like anybody else's the reading is your cards will be your own cards and not like anybody else's right if 8,000 of y'all share these same things and you comment and you're like this is my reading this is my reading this is my reading that's confirmation that this absolutely can't possibly be your reading because with all of those different different astrological charts flying around how could it possibly be but you don't know until you get your own cards read right you might think about this but when we read your cards we can see what the other person is thinking and feeling we can understand where where they're coming from which it's just you can't in a general anyway all of that to say do not make life-altering decisions off of a general tarot card reading that would be silly and do understand that as much as you may see yourself in this reading this reading is not for you okay all right Scorpio let's check it out let's check it out so where we oh if you want your cards right deep thoughts with Dana.com right okay so you open up as the king of wands Poppy. You can hear my dog snoring over there, right? Poppy's digging a hole to China behind me. Okay, so you open this reading as the King of Wands, right? Feeling like a badass. The King of Wands, to me, always is half Scorpio and half Aries. Sometimes it can be half Leo, but whoever the other side, uh, Sag maybe, but whoever the other side of that is, the flip side for me is always Scorpio. I don't know why, but it is, okay? So the King of Wands, this is what you open up as, sitting in your throne like a badass, right? What are you doing? Well, you are tired of being frustrated with the Ace of Wands in reverse. You're tired of delays to something that it is that you do want to manifest. You're tired of the delays. The Wheel of Fortune comes in and says that you are going to um, break this cycle, You've had enough and you're taking control, making boss moves, and you're going to break the cycle of some kind of blockage that's happening. You want something, but there's something in your way, right? And you've had enough of it. Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action. Scorpio's done with it. No, Scorpio is done with all talk, no action. Scorpio is going to take some action. The Nine of Wands in reverse. You are um, done. You want the defensiveness. The, the You want everything. You're coming clean with everything. You want everything out in the open and you want to address this issue. The World card, right? Bringing it to a cycle. It's time to move in to a different um, cycle of your life, Scorpio the alchemist in reverse this alchemist in reverse talks to me about <sighs> poor planning it does it talks to me about poor planning um, just not being able to manifest something because it just wasn't time to manifest something it just wasn't time it's like it's like the crock pot right it's not done till it's done right and you tr been tr you've tried to manifest something but it hasn't worked out for you to the two of swords right kind of at a crossroads kind of uh um searching for the truth a little bit in a situation 
to the three of wands, trying to have some foresight, right? Having some foresight, you have been waiting on something to happen in this situation for a good minute and it's not happening, hence the Prince of Cups in reverse, right? Some kind of creative block. So you're trying to do something and there's something that's blocking you and you're tired of it, tired of it, tired of it. Ain't having no more of it. So the Three of Cups in reverse, um, a third party situation to the Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, shady behavior, trying to get away with something. So what does this tell us? This tells us that Scorpio is frustrated about all talk, no action. Um, Scorpio wants the self-protection, the defensiveness. Um, he wants it or she wants it to go to the side. And um, they can't manifest because of a third party situation and some kind of shadiness. Crossroads, preparation, foresight, waiting, creative block. What is this all about? Well, Scorpio wants the star, hope and faith, purpose, renewal, the spiritual path the ace of swords in reverse but there's not enough there's not enough clarity there's not enough truth there's not enough information for scorpio to do something here the queen of cups in reverse feeling emotionally insecure to the knight of swords in reverse feeling crazy in your mind to the five of pentacles um left out in the cold What happened here, Scorpio? What happened? So the King of Wands, frustrated, can't manifest, third party situation, betrayal and deceit. Betrayal and deceit. Crossroads indecision, confusion, three of wands, trying to see clearly, trying to have some foresight, trying to see what's coming down the road, try, waiting, waiting on those ships to come in, but there's some kind of creative block. Because of, let me ask about this third party situation thing right here real quick. Spirit, what is, what is the three of cups in reverse? The Emperor in reverse, a lack of integrity. What is the Three of Cups in reverse about? What is the Three of Cups in reverse about? What is the Three of Cups in reverse about, Spirit? What's the Three of Cups in reverse about? What's the Three of Cups in reverse about? Okay, the Emperor in reverse to the Devil. Okay. All right, we got this now. Okay. Can't manifest something, wanting something, taking charge, closing the cycle out, but you, you, you don't know how to manifest it because there was um, some kind of stifled creativity. I don't think this is third party. It might be for you. It's a general reading, right? But this is stifled creativity right here. Um, because of betrayal and deceit. So what it is that you're tired of waiting on to manifest that isn't manifesting, isn't manifesting because there was a rift because of some kind of betrayal and deceit here. That's what's going on, right? That's what's going on. The two of swords. Um, confusion. Can't really see. The truth, the three of wands, you've been waiting on this for a minute. You've been waiting on it to happen. But this rift that happened because of betrayal is the blockage with the alchemist in reverse, right? That's why it can't manifest because there was some kind of betrayal that caused a problem. I've um, been waiting on it for a minute right? Trying to have some foresight, trying to see, is it coming down the thing? But it's not. There's a creative block. It's not coming. 
um, the emperor in reverse talking to us about um, control, domination, inflexibility, a need for self-discipline to the devil, which is talking to us about um, whatever this betrayal and this deceit was to the Ace of Wands, wanting an inspired, passionate new beginning, but you can't get it. What's the devil? Yeah, the devil is representing whatever this Seven of Swords is right here, right? Whatever this Seven of Swords is, whatever shit went down between the two of you that caused um, the Emperor in reverse and the devil, right? Whatever this Seven of Swords shady shit that went on, um, you're trying to start, you want to start a new beginning, Um in this situation, but there's something that the deception is blocking it somehow. Um, Eight of Cups to the High Priestess, right? This is talking about, and the Emperor, okay? This, the Eight of Cups is talking about um, disappointment, um, sadness, right? It's not quite walking away because it's not in reverse, but moving on um, to the High Priestess. In your heart and soul to the emperor, in your heart and soul. I think you've had a change, a transformation here from the um, from the emperor in reverse back here, right? Now you're presenting because you 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 understand on a spiritual level what you want, and you're presenting now as the emperor in the upright okay the star in reverse um there is a there's despair to the king of pentacles in reverse it's despair well, let me just tell you it's despair because you want to share feelings the two of pentacles you want to prioritize but there is a lack of progress because of some water that's under the bridge. There's a that water being the devil and the nine of swords, right? You want to talk about your feelings and there's a lack of progress because there is water under the bridge. With who? This king of pentacles in reverse right here. Um, this king of pentacles in reverse. King of pentacles is somebody who holds title in somebody else's life. But in reverse, they no longer hold title in whoever's life. And I think that this is who it is that you want to manifest right here with, whether it's a, um, um, family, work, uh, love, whatever. But this person, whoever this King of Pentacles in reverse is for you, who maybe used to hold title, but doesn't anymore, possibly because of all of this betrayal up here, right? And the third party stifled creativity thing, the shady emperor in reverse devil kind of thing that went on up here, right? Um, now this person no longer holds title in your life, right? Okay. To... Um, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is talking to us about this person, this person's truth, because, because it's followed by the King of Swords, which is in the center of your reading, talking to us about you, Scorpio, taking on the energy of the King of Swords and identifying as the King of Swords for a minute and speaking some truth. King of Pentacles in reverse, speaking truth. See, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, they're speaking truth to each other. It's, it's kind of more like Scorpio in the center of the reading is speaking truth outward, and the Queen of Swords is, is weighing what he's saying, right? She wants peace. Her hand is open. She wants peace. And Scorpio is in the center of the reading like, this is my peace, bitch. <laughs> this is my peace. 
What do you think about it? So this is a conversation that's happening here. Um, it's a mature conversation. It's not yelling and screaming. It's a mature conversation that's happening here. To the lovers in reverse about a misalignment of values that is happening between the two of you. That's the blockage. That's the deception from the past. This misalignment of values that caused a breakup between the two of you somehow, some way. King of Swords, speaking truth about resistance, delays. Hold up. Five of Swords, open change to the King of Pentacles. Okay, hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, indecision. Indecision, okay? So this King of Swords, you, Scorpio, are taking um, indecision and you are um, talking about why you had a problem in this situation with this misalignment of values. Five of Swords in reverse says that when you guys talk, you are now open to change. You're both, I think, open to change. The chariot moving forward, a new beginning. It's the path to a new beginning. It's the vehicle to a new beginning, right? Um, to the King of Pentacles with the same King of Pentacles that was in reverse right here. The same King of Pentacles. You talk and they turn upright, right? And you're like, ah, well, maybe. Look, there's the King of Swords. Okay, see the King of Pentacles in reverse right here. Queen of Swords spoke their truth. King of Swords, um, Scorpio speaking their truth, right? Your truth um, about everything that's gone on. And it creates the King of Swords to the King of Pentacles upright, which is truth and the chariot moving forward. What's the truth? What's the agreement that the two of you come to right here? It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's to resurrect and heal, resurrect and heal the Eight of Pentacles, the lack of focus, right? It's to resurrect and heal the disconnect that's been happening between the two of you. To the Four of Pentacles in reverse, it's to heal the self-protection, the greed, the materialism, um, being as in uh, stubbornness, right? To heal that. To the Sun, to bring, to bring happiness, success, and vitality into the situation. That's what you want to happen, Scorpio. It's exactly what you want to happen. But here you are in the Four of Cups, contemplating, reevaluating, thinking and thinking and thinking. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about the betrayal, the deception, the egocentric shit that happened, whether it was you or them, you are presenting as the King of Wands upright up here. Maybe you're thinking about what you did in the situation. Maybe you did this, Scorpio. Maybe you did this whole thing up here, this whole debauchery, this whole Seven of Swords thing right here. Um, or Look, I think you're I think you're thinking about how you caused despair. That's what I think you're thinking. I'm sorry. Put it where it goes. I'm not sorry. Put it where it goes. That's how I interpret the card. So I think you're thinking about how you caused the despair in the relationship or at least your portion of the responsibility. Okay, I'll compromise with you. The 9 of wands in reverse. This is about um being defensive and hesitant, right? Because you're contemplating right here your portion of the responsibility responsibility. Six of Cups, you just don't think it's realistic, but you're so stuck in the past. You're so stuck in the past. The Queen of Cups, you have feelings for this person. You do. To the Moon, we have double Pisces cards right here. That might mean something to you. I don't know. Um, but the Queen of Cups to the Moon, you have a lot of repressed emotions about this person. You have a lot of emotions about this person, and you're not happy because the it's disorganized between the two of you. The Five of Wands in reverse. This is a, an increased focus on goals, or is it not accepting responsibility? 
It's an increased focus on goals because the tower in reverse is talking to us about a personal transformation to the magician in reverse. Look at those double major arcana right there to the uh, magician in reverse talking about untapped talents. The four of cups in reverse talking about a missed opportunity. So what is this saying? The saying is that you're having all this doubt, 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 right? But you have an increased focus on goals because remember up here, the very first cards out was you saying, and um, I'm done with all of this. I am taking action and I am bringing this to um, a culmination one way or another. I want to have some truth. I want to have an honest, sincere, mature conversation. I want to get to the bottom of things and I want to reestablish happiness and success in the situation. So all of your, your doubtful feelings and all of that kind of stuff, right? Increased focus on goals because you've had an internal tower moment, an absolute internal tower moment where you are having a transformation of the way that you feel about this situation. That freaking hair is driving me crazy. How you feel about the situation, right? Repressed emotions, don't like the disorganization. Um, the alchemist in reverse again this is untapped talents right um to the four of cups a missed opportunity you're having a personal transformation that you missed something significant and important really significant and important and that's why you're taking charge up here see you were kind of just kind of hanging back and waiting around and maybe not even waiting around but just hanging back hanging back hanging back and then boom you have this realization for some reason and i think it's a spiritual transformation because of the cards that are here right you have some kind of transformation that oh my god you know what i think i missed that boat I think I missed that opportunity. I can see untapped talents in this situation. There's, I can see a potential. I can see a potential. That's what this alchemist in reverse is about. Potential. To the four of cups in reverse. Missed opportunity. The six of wands. I want victory, progress, and success in this situation. I want to try again to the ace of pentacles in reverse um lost opportunity prince of swords in reverse because i wasn't thinking straight to the seven of cups and now i have decisions to make and i have um is it wishful thinking right is it wishful thinking that i could even do this i gotta figure this out two of wands in reverse but i have a fear of the unknown don't care. World's coming in. I'm getting some personal closure for this whole situation. I am changing this dynamic of my life. Princess of Pentacles, I'm sending out a message to manifest. Inner strength. Yeah, it's taken a lot of strength. A lot of inner strength. The Hermit in reverse. We've been disconnected. Um disconnected to the five of cups and i've had some loss and some regret and does some despair about this. The Queen of Wands. I see this person as my counterpart. We have um, the king and queen of swords. We have the king and queen of wands. Um, who else do we have? I think that's it. To temperance. And I'm tired of being tempered about the situation. I'm, I don't care what's going on between us. I don't give a shit what happened in the past. I'm taking the bull by the horns. I'm challenged by the spiritual poverty. And I don't want to carry it into my future anymore. It's been going on for way too long. Ace of Swords. Some truth needs to be spoken to the Ten of Swords about why things ended between us. The Seven of Pentacles. Um, reflection and assessment. We need to talk about motivations. To the Hierophant. Let's, let's commit. <laughs> let's commit. Death. An ending to the way things were, a new beginning and a transformation into the way things will be to the King of Cups because I love you, card of Scorpio. Some people say cancer. I love you to the Hermit in Reverse and I am lonely without you and the Two of Cups and I want a unified love relationship with you. I do.
I forgot about these. They really don't make any, well, they do make sense, right? Because you wanted hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, right? There wasn't enough clarity. Um, emotional insecurity. Um, the crazy in the head, right? To the five of pentacles, afraid you're going to be left out in the cold. That's old news, though. That was last week. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is your reading, Scorpio. So it looks like you are tired of sitting around and you are going to take the initiative to reach out and clear up some kind of major blockage around deception, betrayal, deceit, possibly a third party situation. Um, you're you, the, something that you're, you're stuck on about, right? You're stuck on this person used to hold title, but doesn't anymore. And you want to have some clear, clear, clear conversation about all of the feelings between you. So you can move forward in the chariot into a unified relationship, being the king of pentacles and the king of swords, um, resurrecting something from the dead, right? Putting an inevitable ending to all of the bullshit between you and having happiness, success, and vitality, curing the misalignment of values, getting some truth, getting some understanding to the situation. That's what you want, Scorpio. That's what you want. General read, flip it if you need to, but that's what these cards are telling me, and you're going to take some action. Um, I think for an extended reading, we are going to jump in and we are going to look at um, this person. This person, um, let's just throw some cards. What are we at? 25 minutes? Spirit, tell me about Scorpio's person. Tell me about Scorpio's person. King of Wands, Seven of Cups in reverse. Aww. Scorpio says, is it wishful thinking? Aww. Tell me about Scorpio's person, spirit. Scorpio's person. What do we need to know about Scorpio's person? Two cups. What do we need to know about Scorpio's person? What do we need to know about Scorpio's person? They're stuck in the past also to the five of wands in reverse, and they would like to have an increased focus on goals. The goals being... Um, your being your queen of wands. Look at that. The goal being your queen of wands. Wow, Scorp. That's awesome. That's awesome. Aww. Twice we have the king and queen of wands. This is like soulmate shit right here, Scorp. This is soulmate shit, Scorpio. Soulmate shit. You want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. We're on their energy, right? They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They are in their mind in anxiety and despair because of the disconnection that's happening between the two of you. The Three of Wands, lack of a long-term vision. The Three of Pentacles, the lack of teamwork and collaboration. They're all in the Nine of Swords in a state of despair, and they would love to to be your queen of wands. Look, the king of cups, they love you. To uh, the moon in reverse, repressed emotions, right? They love you, the hermit. You guys are isolated, withdrawn, disconnected from each other, and it makes them sad. Aw, aw, Scorpy, Scorpy, aw, little snuggly scorpion. They want forgiveness. They want forgiveness and they want to heal whatever kind of issue is between you. Domination, control, inflexibility. They want to heal all of that. The ego thing that that's going on here. They want to heal all that. The two of Wands, they want to look into the future. Um, they, they have a lot of inner strength. Um, because they've been sad about what's going on here. Four of Pentacles in reverse, right? Self-protective, ignoring the call, not reaching out to you, Scorpio, to the Eight of Swords in their head, thinking how they can change this situation. Oh, look, Scorpio, it's going to work out good. It's going to work out well. But they're just as afraid as you are. Temperance says they've been waiting. They've been being tempered. They don't want to reach out because I bet they don't. They, they, they're they afraid of this conversation right here with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Wow. 
That's awesome. Anything else you want to say here, Spirit? Anything else you want to say? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. And gone. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, the Five of Cups in reverse. They want forgiveness. They want to move on from grief. Ah, oh, well, there you go, Score. It will be well received if you decide to do something like that. All right, you guys. Well, y'all be safe. Wash your hands. Um, don't hoard toilet paper. <laughs> okay. And uh, namaste.